Hey, good morning. It's time again for Pastor Rick's Reflections. This is July 23rd, and we have another commemoration today of someone. Well, yesterday, obviously, you had heard of Mary Magdalene, but uh, today, Birgitta of Sweden, renewer of the church, who uh, died on this day uh, in 1373. I doubt many of you have heard much about her, and I think it's fun sometimes to, uh, on these days, to uh, have a little church history, so we'll we'll talk about her today. Brigida was born in Upland, Sweden, in 1303, uh, 1316. She was married, and she wound up having eight children. In 1335, she served as lady in waiting to the Queen of Sweden. 1340, she began her many pilgrimages to religious sites. She was widowed in 1344 and began to record her visions, especially of the Passion of Christ. In 1351, she established a religious order for both nuns and monks dedicated to prayer and charity. And as I said earlier, on this day, in 1373, she died in Rome. Virgita lived an extraordinary life. She was a wife, mother, pilgrim, lady-in-waiting, widow, abbess, visionary, author, and critic. She is honored especially in Sweden for her life of prayer, her meditations based on her visions, her charity to the poor, and her criticism of the church hierarchy. The religious order she founded, now called the Order of St. Brigida, is a lay organization advocating prayer and charity. In art, she is sometimes shown wearing the wide brim hat of a pilgrim or carrying the crozier of an abbess, or holding the book of her revelations. And this is from uh, her four prayers. My Lord Jesus Christ, you are truly the head of all men and angels, the worthy King of kings and Lord of lords, and you do all your works out of true and ineffable charity. You humbly permit your blessed head to be crowned with the crown of thorns, Blessed, therefore, be your head and hair, and may they be gloriously adorned with an imperial diadem. May heaven and earth and all things created be subject and obedient to your empire and your power until eternity. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for renewers and reformers of the church. They are gifts to us, gifts of your never-ending love <clears throat> who help us to see and hear how we need to better love and serve you and your people. Today, we thank you for Brigida, for her witness, for her life, for her devotion to prayer and charity. <clears throat> we ask that you continue to help us reach out to those in need, and to pray without ceasing, not just with words, but also prayers where we stop and listen, so we may continue to hear how, what you are calling us to do. Continue to watch over <clears throat> our world, especially help us through this pandemic, heal the sick, protect those who are treating them, help us all to do things that are smart and safe, so that we can slow and stop the spread of this disease. Watch over us all and remind us always of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <clears throat>